Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the new video. So, firstly, it's a very, very easy question. Marked as medium, but it will be put in an easy category. There are easy questions much harder than this one. For sure, this is one of the easiest ones. But yeah, let's quickly jump on to it. Uh, it says that uh, we are having an indexed and cross an integer matrix called as grid. We have to return the number of pairs R, I, comma cj such that the row ri is same as the column cj right when we mean same or equal we mean that they contain same elements and in the same order right let's take an example if we just look at this matrix so we can see one column 277 is exactly same as one row 277 that's the reason the answer is one the next example we can see that 244 Two four two two is same as this row two four two two, and this two four two two is same as this row two four two two. So one pair from here, which means one row this and one column this. One pair from here, which means one row this, one column this, and lastly one pair from here, which means one row this and one column this. So in total, I'm getting three pairs. That's the answer is three. So firstly, very very basic thing which comes in our mind is that okay, Aaron, what I want is pairs, right? So what I can do is I can go on every row and for this row, I need a three, one, two, two. I go on to this row and then I will try to go on to every column and we'll see how many such columns are there, which matches this. So for this row, I'm going on to every column, right? Now, what will happen is for this row, this is one row. I'm going to every column, which is n columns I'm going on to. And for that n columns to compare, okay, this 3, 1, 2, 2 is same as this 3, 1, 2, 2. I have to compare every element and comparing every element will again take n time. And this is for one row. I have to do the repeat, the same stuff for n rows. So it will become n cube. Got it. Which means I will go on to every row. For every row, for every row, I have to go on to every column and see hey um what is it that it is same as that of this row it is same as that of this row for that i need to know okay it is this row i need to compare these two rows so that will become a hectic task in which i have to compare every element of the column and that will become o of n cube so can we optimize this yeah how um what was the ultimate aim our ultimate aim is I was trying and going on okay for this particular column ultimately I should be knowing okay what all rows have the same values so why not I can store this previously because ultimately my aim was at this column I am so I will have to go to every row again and again why to go to every row again and again for every column for this let's say for this column I had to for this column I had to go to every row to check, okay, which row is same or vice versa, you can say any way. But the main task was for every row or for every column, I'm going on to every other column or every other row again and again. For this column, I'm going on to every row again and again. It should not be the case. It should be simply for this particular column, just keep track, okay, what all rows are exactly same of this. For this column, just keep track of what all rows are exactly same of this. And that's it. And when I say keep track of, maintain, store, first thing comes in my mind is a hash map or a simple map or an or, 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 or audit map. Now, when we say hash map or an audit map, for an audit map, Aryan, we can have, okay, one vector. It's kind of one vector. It needs to be, okay, one vector is there. And for rows, the same vector occur how many times? Because we saw, okay, for this one vector, it has two pairs. So in the rows, I need to know, okay, this same vector occurred how many times? And that is where we can just show the frequency, okay. This map, I can have a map of vector to actually integer, which will show, okay, this vector 2, 4, 2, 2 occurred two times. That is, when I am at this particular column, I know, okay, the vector is 2, 4, 2, 2. Now, this vector 2, 4, 2, 2, in rows occurred twice so just the count of pairs for this particular column vector will be nothing but two 
And that's simply how I can use hash map functionality to directly know. Okay, I don't have to go to every column again, every row again and again to know okay, what all rows are same as that of my column. I just need to store K. Okay. If my column looks something like this, what all rows are there which, which look exactly like this and that I will can pre-store in my hash map. And that's how I can optimize my algorithm. Now you will say, Aray, um, map we are using which have a higher complexity of n log n, right? Can't we use an unordered map? Yeah, we can. Here, you know, for using an unordered map, the key should be a simple integer, string, or something like that. It can't be a vector, it can't be a pair or something like that, right? So, I need to convert this vector to something else. If you want to use, although I'm not saying, okay, it will increase your, uh, it will become, it will make your code better or something. But yeah, if you still want to use an unordered map rather than a map. So, the best thing you can do is convert this vector to a string or a hash, which means this 2422, the vector was 2422. Now, it was a vector earlier. Now, you want to use this. So, either you can convert this to a hash, but what hash function you use, all that will become very complex. So simply when I say convert to a hash, simply convert this to a string, which means two underscore four underscore two underscore two or anything, two dot four dot two dot two, anything you can use to convert this. Like you, you at least you can't concatenate two, two, four, two, two. You can't do that because it can be a chance that, okay, one element is two, four, two, as something like that. So it's good, two underscore four underscore two underscore two. So with this, you converted your vector to actually a string and now you can use it easily an unordered map. Now why I told you this is because many people will say, okay, Aryan, I can optimize this by using unordered map. Yeah, you can, but still it will more or less will remain same because it's kind of how that hash function of your unordered map is defined, which will indirectly make the complexity larger or lesser because Average case, it's O of 1. In worst case, on a map, it also can go up to O of N also. So yeah, uh, that is not the case. The case was simply for every column I need to know. See, in this question, we are not learning, okay, oh, how to use an map and stuff. In this question, we just thought, okay, how to optimize it? How to reach to optimization? And then, when we reach to optimization, okay, what we can think of? We can think of a vector and we can think of a string also as a hash function. So that is what we learned in this problem. That if the interview asks you, okay, I don't want to use a map. I want to use an ordered map. How will do it? You will simply convert that string vector into actually a string. So it's it's an interview question, not a not a programming question in general. So what we learned? Okay, we'll go into every column, and for that every column we will earlier had stored the count for every rows. In this example, I'm taking the vector. You can easily take as a string also, convert this vector to a string, which means by placing underscores, underscores, and simply get the answer. Let's quickly jump onto the code. Um, it's pretty easy. Firstly, I take this vector, uh, this map, which is of vector to integer, which means for every row, what is the count of this particular row vector? So I go on to every row, and for every row, I get this vector. I just increase its frequency, so as to get the count of every row vector now i go on to every column for every column firstly i need to know okay what is the column vector so i just got the column vector from here for that particular column which means i'm going on to every row and grabbing that column vector because that column vector i need to compare with my row map which i made earlier so here i got that column vector v i will go and check this column vector in my map which i made for rows so to get the count of that column vector in my rows, how many such rows are there which have the same column vector and I just increase its frequency. As you know, for this example, my first, my column vector, initially my column vector will be 3, 1, 2, 2. Its row count is nothing but 1. Then next one column vector is 1, 4, 4. Its, its row count is 0. Uh, then it's 2, 4, 2, 2. Its row count is 2. And then it's 2, 5, 2, 2, its row count is 0. So it's the reason the final answer is actually a 3. And that is what I did in this question. Now, you will simply say, okay, Aryan, um, here you saw that I am using a map. Cool, it's in login. Here I am using, I'm going on to every row for every, every column. I'm going on to the entire column to actually make my 
आंसर सो इट शुड बी ओ ऑफ एन स्क्वेर लॉग एन बट यू विल सी दैट हेयर यू जस्ट गो ऑन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर कॉलम एंड देन यू आर यूजिंग योर मैप सो एन डायरेक्टली इट्स ओ ऑफ एन स्क्वेर ओनली बिकॉज फॉर एवरी कॉलम फॉर एवरी कॉलम आई एम गोइंग ऑन टू एवरी कॉलम फॉर दैट एवरी कॉलम आई एम जस्ट गोइंग ऑन टू एवरी रो to get the vector now as soon as i got the vector i'm simply using my map and that is how you can simply say that both even if you had used an unordered map or even if you have used a map both will remain same because ultimately your vector being counted like another o of n square part is being here and it is another o of n log n part and that is ultimately it's o of n square only so yep by that you can simply turn your answer i hope that you guys like it see you in the next video bye